Now, criminal proceedings against Lord Greville Janner will come to court today in relation to allegations of historical sexual abuse. Lord Janner and his family have always denied any wrongdoing. But as our legal affairs correspondent Clive Coleman reports, the proceedings could be far from straightforward. Not a shred of truth in any of the allegations. Greville Janner, for decades at the heart of public life as a Labour MP and peer. In April, the Director of Public Prosecutions, Alison Saunders, decided he wouldn't face a criminal trial on 22 allegations of historical sexual abuse against nine children because his dementia made him unfit to take part. But following an independent review requested by six alleged victims, that decision was overturned. Today's hearing should be a straightforward committal from magistrates to Crown Court, where a judge will decide if Greville Janner is fit to plead. If he is, he'll face a full trial. If not, there'll be a trial of the facts, where a jury will hear evidence from alleged victims and decide only if he committed the physical acts of abuse. There'll be no finding of guilt and no conviction. However, Greville Janner, who has always denied any wrongdoing, can only be committed for trial if he attends court today or his lawyers have instructions to consent to committal. If they don't, the prosecution in this highly unusual case may have to fall back upon fresh proceedings and a little used application that bypasses the magistrate's court, but which can only be granted by a high court judge. Clive Coleman, BBC News.